It is Tuesday, January 15th, 2019, around 9, 10 p.m. So I just got off work right now, and what really inspired me to make this episode is I have this picture that my friend from first grade sent me because recently we've been having like this 10-year challenge, this puberty challenge on Instagram, and... 10 years ago was 2009 but people for the puberty challenge have been pulling from from middle school because that's when puberty hit and I was trying to look for some pictures and trying to remember where my life was at that time and at that time I had just come out um and I was becoming a little isolated from people because it was new we were young it was 2002 everyone wasn't as queer as they are today and yeah, it was just it was just a rough time. I think overall, like I'm a pretty positive kid, um, and I've always have been and, and been optimistic, you know. But there's times where life gets rough, and and when you're young and you don't know how to maneuver through those emotions and maneuver through those kinds of social interactions at a young age, especially for someone like me who's such like wanted to be cool with everybody, that was a hard time during my life, um, and my mind was like playing tricks on me, like of not feeling worthy or enough and uh so she hit me up and said I have quite a few pictures of you from middle school um and and said something about not having friends is because I tried pushing them all away and I just kind of found that really interesting because I was like that's been going on since 2002 or like since forever and I just kind of feel like what does that even mean the fact that I was pushing people away, you know, and I don't I don't know if that's a theme or if that's something that I've been continuously doing growing up. I don't know if it's necessarily pushing people away. It's just kind of being so used to doing it on my own. Um, so anyway, she sent me a picture and I just look not happy. <laughs> Maybe because I didn't have eyebrows at the time, but I just didn't look happy. I just kind of look like meh, like I was just there. Um, and even like looking at the picture, I'm just like, mm, was not happy about her taking the picture. And it just kind of sucked me back into that time and just was like reminded of like how insecure I was and how unsure of everything that I was. And it just kind of brings me back to reality and just recognizing like who you all see today and who you all hear today has required the utmost the utmost work and just recognizing like I didn't have a constant reassurance that I was somebody you know what I mean that I was important um that I mattered and so I've had to do a lot of that work on my own don't get me wrong there's there's been people along the way that have have affirmed me and validated me and and all these things but you know at the end of the day like that's not something that I heard often growing up so it's not something that has been bedded into me it's not something that I soaked in during the times when I was a sponge it's 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 things that I've had to learn along the way um and having to convince myself otherwise you know so if you think that I'm this super confident person now and think that I have my shit together and all these things and to some level and to some degree I do but it's taken a lot a lot of work a lot of personal work a lot of I matter I'm important I could do good work in this world I people care about me like I've had to I've had to tell myself that over and over and over again you know even when sometimes that's not the reality sometimes the reality is I don't feel like I'm enough and I don't feel important and I don't, you know, and and so when experiences like that happen, it triggers me back into my younger self and I'm just like, fuck, like, like, no, no, you've gotten so far now and you do matter and you and you are important. And this may sound crazy to you, but because of the affirmation so important to me and just remembering that I am making small differences in people's lives and that there's people out there that care about me like I save I save those words of affirmation from people so down to like text messages or DMs or letters or 
poems. I've had people write papers about me. You know what I mean? Like one or two people. Um, and I've kept those. I've kept those. So I can look at them and, and be reminded like, no, like I mattered to somebody at one point or I mattered to this person. Um, and that may seem like crazy to you, but the reality is, is like, I don't get that affirmation from my parents. Um, I've had to actually teach them to tell, to tell them that they love me. Like, that's not a way that they showed love. It wasn't your affirmation. So I had to teach them like, ma, like I really like, I just need to know that I fucking matter to you because I'm your fucking kid, you know, like. I just need to know that I'm important to you and I know that you show it through tons of fucking gifts and getting me a freaking car and sending me to school. I know that you care about me, but mom, I just, I just need to hear that you love me and that you're proud of me. And so when I started telling them that and teaching that that's teaching them that that's the way that I receive love, like it's made all the difference, you know? And so there's not a day that, um, we talk on the phone that I don't tell them like, Hey, like, I love you and they're like I love you too you know and like or when they say it on their own I'm like oh my god this is it's all I wanted to know it's all I wanted to hear so I guess what I'm just trying to say is like that kid is still very much in me and and however you are consuming of my life whether it's through a podcast or whether through it's Instagram or whether it's through stories or whether through it's YouTube I just want you to recognize that it's that I'm still that little kid and I sometimes forget that I that I matter um and and that that's really who I am you know I'm I've been doing the work and and believing in myself and and being able to pick myself back up you know and there's days I'm successful at it and there's days that I'm not you know and and so it may seem silly to you that I'm constantly documenting things and I'm constantly putting my story out there but at the end of the day it really just comes down to to just knowing that I'm not alone and just knowing that I matter in this world to somebody and if that means being vulnerable and sharing my story with people so they know that they're not alone in the process and for them to just be like, I feel you, I'm on the same page, or I've been there, or I'm going through that, like, thank you for sharing your truth, thank you for sharing your experience, you know, that's, that's what I do it for. Because I know nothing else. I know nothing else. And I know one day, I know one day, Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but I know one day I'm going to have a life filled with so much love and so much joy. And it's not that I don't have that now, but I, it's going to be a constant love, a constant joy, a constant of working at it, a constant verb of working on love, you know, and recognizing that it's a verb and constantly doing it over and over and over again. There's going to be people in my life that are willing to pour into me and there's going to be people in my life that I'm going to be pouring into them. And it's just going to be constantly... Not constantly, but it's going to be surrounded by me. And it's never going to be a question. There's going to there's gonna come a time in my life where I will not question if I matter to people. I won't question if I'm important. I won't question if, if, if this is something that is worth it. You know, there won't be a day like that. I, whether it's through a family, whether it's through my team, whether it's through my partner, whatever it is. I know that one day I will get to that point. Um, but in the meantime, I'm still that little ass kid that just sometimes forgets and, and I'm just trying my best. I'm just trying my best to continuously be that person for myself. So for those of you who are out there, if you feel alone in that process and if, if you feel any similarly to me, I know that it's hard and I know that when you feel like you're the only person that you could turn to and you're not feeling your best, it's hard. Um, but at the end of the day, just know that that validation from other people is amazing and it's important and it's worthwhile um, to continuously build those relationships with people. Um, but I think at the end of the day, as long as we know that we matter and that we're important and that we're worthy and that we're enough, that's all that matters. But just recognize it is the hardest work. 
you know it's the hardest work to not look towards outside sources to be that for us it's fucking difficult but i know that the work that i'm going through now personally and internally is so worth it is so worth it and again like i know i just won't want you to ever think that you're alone not only because of me but for me it's been a process of building that relationship with god and knowing that i'm their kid and i'm important and i'm worthy and i'm enough and that's a whole different conversation and a whole different relationship but for me those are the two that i want to focus on because i know those are the two literally constant relationships i'll always 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 have in my life and so that's what i want to continuously pour into now if other people come along and we want to pour into each other i'm so down for it so down for it because god knows i have way too much love to give i have so much love to give and just wanting to give it to people that want it and are and are wanting to give it back god knows that and that's why i'm here for so continuously put that out there but you know there's days where i need to give my love to myself and and sometimes it's not easy you know but i just want you to know that you're never alone you're never 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 alone if it's not with me then it's with your source it's with your universe it's with your 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 god whatever it is so i love y'all thank you so much for listening thank you so much for watching if you've gotten to my videos it's been really difficult i told you i can record all day but like now that we're implementing video it's been a little bit more difficult to stay up to date but just know that i i am making this a priority i'm almost done collecting all of my notes and formulating a plan for the new year so just be patient with me and just again thank you so much for your time and attention i know that you could be anywhere else in the world right now but you're here with me and i really really appreciate it so please continue to follow me on social media at k.short but other than that tune into the next episode for another lesson realization and experience from my daily life